So what's up there ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? It is another fantastical video. When I was first going to start talking on this video, I was going to talk about how it's kind of ridiculous that I see videos of other riders acting crazy when uh, when cars and stuff do uh, bad things. It's kind of expected when you're riding a motorcycle that bad things are going to happen. You know, it's just it's going to happen. People, someone's going to do some stupid shit in front of you. Someone's going to break. There's going to be idiots on the road. It's it's. It's just something that you just have to deal with on a daily basis. And I was going to be like, how could you get mad about that? But you know, the moment I started thinking about that, the moment, the very moment I started thinking about that and started, you know, thinking like, yeah, that's what I'm going to talk about today. Crazy stuff started happening. And you know what? It reminded me a very, it reminded me of a very important detail. And that detail is... People are, are freaking cray cray, right? They're freaking cray cray. And they're cray cray and a lot of people are out to teach you a lesson and be and be the law. They're out there. They're out there to teach you a lesson. Whether they're right or right or wrong, they're they're willing to put your life at risk just to teach you a lesson. Just to teach you a lesson over something simple, like if you get ahead of them, ride your bumper, or if you're lane splitting, and they don't like this, you're getting ahead of them, they're going to try to block you. There's always something that other people are going to try to do to teach you a lesson. They're out to kill you. All these people out here are out to freaking kill you over stupid shit. Over stupidity. They're all out here to freaking kill your ass. And it's just hilarious. That I was gonna start this video about like yo you shouldn't get mad well you should get mad because it's your, it's your life but at the same time I was partly right because it's, it's expected there's so many people out here that are gonna be doing so much crazy crap and you're gonna be you have to be 100% alert to it every time because if you're not, if someone catches you off guard, they're going to get you. Simple as that. <clears throat> a, lot, a lot of people have this, uh, whatchamacallit, narcissism. A lot of people have this, uh, this narcissism complex. Everything's about them. Everything. And the road is no exception. This is, this is outlaw land out here. And they're going to get you. Simple as that. Like... It's just it's freaking insane. I've been, I've been riding for about... This is the first bike I've ever had. And I've been riding about... I've just, I just cleared my uh, 5,000 mile mark riding a motorcycle. And a lot of people tell you how you should, how you should get a motorcycle and all the other crap. But uh, how wonderful it is and stuff. And it is. It's great. It's freaking awesome. I love it. But... It's goddamn dangerous with a capital D. So these are the reasons why you probably shouldn't get a motorcycle because it's freaking dangerous. All the cars are out there to get your ass and they'll get you. Uh, you have to be alert at all freaking times and uh, it's it's just freaking dangerous, man. You, you fall off this thing, you're gonna get freaking screwed up. You're gonna get messed up. So there's a high probability you are gonna get freaking jacked to hell as soon as you fall off this. It's just a, a risk thing. You weigh the risk. Do you enjoy it enough to take that type of risk or is it something else? I've heard stories and known about people that have... that have, uh, that have died on a motorcycle. One person I knew personally. And he was a motorcycle rider, and he, he freaking, he died. So it's it's not that far out of the imagination that that is a real possibility of something really bad happening. A substantially higher risk than driving a car. And the story about him, uh, my friend, how uh, the guy I knew got killed, was he was just riding his motorcycle on the freeway. Just going Coming home or going somewhere, and... And uh, some stupid freaking, some stupid freaking bitch hit him. 
We're going 100 miles an hour. <laughs> she was drunk and you, she hit him and she just kept going. Just kept right on freaking going. Didn't care about nothing else but herself. That's narcissism for you right there, like I was talking about earlier. But he, he got killed. He got killed on the fruit. He got hit going 100 miles an hour and by a drunk driver from the rear and he, got, he, he died. I know I knew that guy. That's somebody I knew was con, in contact with, talked to personally. And I talked to a, a, a lot of other people that have known somebody that, that's been killed on a motorcycle. It's dangerous, plain and simple. And you know, I, ri I ride this thing because I enjoy it. I enjoy motorcycles and I feel like the risk is, is worth it. They're really, like that person on their phone. <laughs> that's another thing too. People are constantly distracted on the road, dude. Like, constantly, but. That's what it is. That's why you probably shouldn't get a motorcycle. It's freaking dangerous. If you if you want something, you know, thrilling and exciting, go to a theme park or something. I don't know. At least that's safer, in my opinion. But you know, what can you do? People, you know, take risks. But some some things are riskier than others. You're, when you're out here driving on the road, you're putting your hands in other people and other people's uh, care. And you just gotta think for a second, do you really trust other people for your own welfare? And if you if you say yeah, then you're just about as crazy as the rest of our rest of us that ride motorcycles. But once you get past all that nonsense of danger. Oh boy, are they fun. Well, there's definitely nothing like riding a motorcycle absolutely freaking nothing just amazing you know what after riding around for about 20 30 minutes get a motorcycle dude it's freaking awesome I mean, hell yeah, it's dangerous, but there's just nothing else like it. Nothing else. Totally changed my mind right now. I take back everything I said. Well, it is, it is pretty dangerous. But it sure does make me freaking happy. Motorcycling makes me happy as hell. So anyway, go ahead and like that like button and subscribe. Because it really does show me a lot of support. And it shows me that you like what I make. And it, it brings a tear to my eye. It really does. So, until next time, we'll catch you later. Peace.